So I found this relationship theory called the soulmate's model. The title itself was interesting enough that it drew me in. Anyways, taking a look at the soulmate model, what it is is that it's a different perspective on relationship. It basically examines a couple's long-term relationship and breaks it down into a seven-stage model. Since I'm in a relationship myself, I was not only curious what stage I might be in, but also what are the stages coming up next? When I say long-term, I mean long, long-term. For example, back in the 1900s, the average lifespan was around roughly 40 years. Now in the modern age, you can live well into your 80s. That means several more decades to your relationship with your significant other. The soulmate model tries to incorporate that in and does have stages for those later years. And honestly, those later years is something I haven't really thought too much before about when it comes to my relationship. That brings me to my second point, and that's that society mostly focuses on young love. I mean, take a look at the media or when you go to the grocery store and look at the newsstands. It's mostly about the young, the beautiful, and successful. Not so much about mature couples or mature relationships. Unfortunately, our good looks don't last forever, and you can't rely on sexuality to be the anchor point to keeping your relationship together forever. The last point I want to bring up is our focus on personal development and personal growth. Nowadays, if your relationship isn't providing you opportunities for those two things, that's reason enough to potentially break up or divorce from your partner. Marriages and relationship now need to be all-encompassing. It's not only for building a life, a family, or even a home together. It needs to encompass love, personal fulfillment, and personal growth. The soulmate model tries to incorporate all the different points that I brought up today, as well as several others. It then tries to present a very holistic view on it through the seven stages. Here are the seven stages to the soulmate's model. Stage one, dating. The first stage is all about dating and finding a partner. Hopefully, someone that you like not only for their looks, but on an ideological, emotional, mental, and even spiritual level. Stage two, commitment. Ah, uh, the big scary C word, commitment. This stage is all about developing a reciprocally exclusive relationship as well as creating a shared relationship vision for the future and taking a look at your own personal goals in life and how they might align. It also means figuring out the balance between spending time together as well as maintaining your own personal development and growth goals. Stage three, intimacy. At the intimacy stage, you're developing a deeper understanding of your partner. That means figuring out what their inner world is regarding their emotions, their mind, what they think their life purpose is, and sharing your inner world with them too. Stage four, building a life. At this stage, it means making difficult decisions together so that you can both live comfortably as well as create a home together. Now, if you're starting a family, that means dealing with a lot of big changes and experiencing the world of parenting together. Stage five, integrating the shadow. To be honest, I find it to be a really strange stage name. However, it's really similar to the highest stage of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, self-actualization, if you're familiar with it. Anyways, at this stage, you're refocusing on yourself. You're rethinking your life purpose, your values, your beliefs. You're working together with your partner so that the both of you can overcome anxieties, insecurities, fears, basically anything that's holding you back. Stage six, renewal. Within the renewal stage, there is a greater focus on living your life purpose. And that could be by yourself or with your partner. As you gain new experiences, you also continue the process of revaluing your life purpose, your vision, your goals, your values, and things like that, and sharing it with your partner. Stage seven, completion. At the final stage, you're really just applying all the strengths and skills that you learned in the previous stages to continue to maintain your relationship as well as develop it. I hope you like learning about the soulmates model. If you're interested in weekly videos regarding relationship psychology, relationship advice, or even gift ideas, please subscribe and like my video. Otherwise, please click here to watch more videos.